সুপ্রিয় দর্শক ছোট্ট একটি ব্রেকের পর আবার চলে আসলাম আপনাদের প্রপার্টি বিষয়ক প্রিয় অনুষ্ঠান প্রপার্টি শো উইথ কাজী আরিফ জি দর্শক আমরা কথা বলছিলাম আমাদের দুই দুজনের সাথে গেস্ট এবং স্পেশালিস্টের সাথে কিন্তু এ ফাঁকে আপনাদেরকে বলে দিচ্ছি যে আপনারা কিন্তু যে কোনো সময় আমাদেরকে ফোন করতে পারেন জাস্ট পিক আপ দ্য ফোন অ্যান্ড গিভ আস এ কল অ্যান্ড বলার সাথে সাথে সামবডি ইজ অন দ্য লাইন দেখি কে আছেন দর্শক দর্শক আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়ালাইকুম আসসালাম রহমতুল্লাহ বারাকাতু জি ভাইয়া প্রশ্ন কি করুন জি প্রশ্নটা হলো যে কাউন্সিলের বাড়িতে যারা থাকেন এখন কেউ যদি কাউন্সিলের বাড়ি কিনতে চান মনে করেন তাদের বয়স বেশ হয়ে গেছে প্রায় কি বলে ওইটা পেনশন এইজের মতো বাষট্টি চৌষট্টি ধরনের বয়স কিন্তু শারীরিক অসুস্থতার জন্য কাজ করতে পারতেছেন না ওনাদের ছেলেমেয়েরা যদি ওনাদের পক্ষ থেকে এই বাড়িতে যারা থাকে তারা যদি ওটা ক্রয় করতে চায় সেটা কি তারা করতে পারবে নাকি মা বাবাকে এখানে শরীর হতেই হবে কারণ মা বাবা তো অনেক মানে শারীরিক বা বয়সের কারণে অসুস্থতার কারণে বা রিলিজিয়াস কোনো কোনো সময় কনটেশন আছে ওনারা বলেন যে না আমরা এটাতে পার্টিসিপেট করতে চাই না তো ছেলেমেয়েরা কি করতে পারে এই ব্যাপারে আপনাদের কি থাকবে উপদেশ ধন্যবাদ আসসালাম আলাইকুম ওয়ালাইকুম আসসালাম আরহামদুল্লাহ আরিফ ভাই Uh, though he is speaking in uh, Bengali, we'll come back to him later on his regarding the council property. You can uh, uh, just uh, go ahead in Bengali. Then uh, sure. Dashok, you have a question. It's a very interesting question. One of the things that we have to do is that we have a property council. 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 This and that. So, you can see that we have a tenancy agreement. 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 হয়ে গেল মগজ পেতে অনেক সময় কঠিন থাকে যদিও এর মধ্যে অনেক চেঞ্জ হয়েছে যে বয়স্করও কিনতে পারে এখন কথা হচ্ছে আর্নিং বলে একটা কথা থাকে সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমি আপনাকে টেকনিক্যালি বলবো যে আপনাকে দুটো কাজ করতে হবে প্রথমে একটা হচ্ছে যে আপনার আপনি যে প্রশ্নগুলো করেছেন আমি উত্তর দিচ্ছি পার্টে পার্টে আপনার কাউন্সিলের সাথে কথা বলতে পারেন সেম প্রশ্নের ক্ষেত্রে তারা আপনাকে উত্তর দিতে পারে পাশাপাশি একজন মর্গেজ অ্যাডভাইজারের পরামর্শ নিতে পারেন প্রফেশনাল যেটা থাকছে যে আপনার ছেলে মারা যদি সেরকম ইনকাম করে তারা গ্যারান্টার হিসেবে পাশাপাশি আপনার এই প্রপার্টি কেনার ক্ষেত্রে সহযোগিতা করতে পারে আবার অনেক সময় আছে যে গ্যার আপনি যে কথা বলছেন যে তাদের নাম ঢুকাতে হবে এবং কোনো কথা আছে কি না অনেক সময় যদি আপনি চান এটাকে অনেক সময় কাউন্সিলের এরিয়া ভেদে হয়ে থাকে যে আপনি তাদেরও নাম ইনক্লুড করতে পারেন বাট অনেক সময় হয়ে যায় কি তারাও ফার্স্ট টাইম বার হয়ে যায় তারা যদি পরবর্তীতে বাড়ি কিনতে যায় তখন এই ক্ষেত্রে তাদের জন্য সমস্যা হয়ে থাকে যে পরবর্তী বাড়ি কিনতে গেলে তাকে সেকেন্ড টাইম বার হিসেবে কিনতে হবে তো এটা খেয়াল রাখা বিষয় আছে এই ছিল আপনাকে বলা যে আপনার ছেলেমেয়েদের ক্ষেত্রে আপনার কোনো কিছু আর বলার আছে কি না আপনি যদি তারপরে কোনো কিছু থাকে প্লিজ ইমেল আস নিউগুলা ট্রাই টু আনসার ইউ ব্যাক বা ইমেল Asha bhai, I'm going to ask you back question. Thank you very much. Uh, <coughs> we have uh, another caller is waiting, so let's see who is on the line. Uh, Assalamu alaikum, Darshak. Assalamu alaikum, Darshak. I'm going to call you the caller. Hari Felici, caller about Pori phone call. And uh, um, I'd like to go back to Mr. Uh, Phillips, yeah? Desmond Phillips. Uh, uh, I'd like to know this. Tell me honestly, Mr. Phillips, being a landlord, you'd be, uh, how do you find uh, that say, when you manage yourself is better or if you give it to uh, the agent in your, your house, give it to the agent, which one you feel comfortable? It's from your own experience, <laughs> please. It's nothing to make anybody happy. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's a very good question and it's a situation where as you, first uh, you look at the cost because this is a business. Also, you need to look at the service you are providing and if you have the time to provide that service. So in order to find a balance within the service that you are providing, in most cases, I would recommend you get an agent, even if it's to find the right person to live within your property. However, it's a case for me personally, because of my busy work schedule, it's much more effective to have an agent who I've been with for almost the past 15 years now. And the way in which how I went about that, first, again, I, I look at the cost in terms of how much he's charging to do his searches and everything. And the way in which how the agent provide detailed information that makes me feel comfortable, provide a platform for me to think that I could always give him a call, I send him a text, and within 24 hours, I will get back very good answers, very good responses that will reassure my heart that my property and my tenants will be lo looked after. Also, 
with the agent that I'm with at present, it keeps me up to date with what is going on on the market in terms of even if I might look to reinvest or if it's a case where is it's coming close to the end of my a contract with the tenants, what do I intend to do? We can look at things again. And most of all, one of the huge benefits being with the agent is to keep you up to date with the laws because even though you have an agent, you too have responsibilities as a landlord. So it's working in collaboration. Excellent, excellent. Uh, uh, I wanted to find out how you find uh, uh, who is, how you will get uh, that uh, who is a good agent or better. It's a very good question. Research is one of the things. If we are going to buy a pair of shoes in the store, we try and do shoes. We don't just buy the shoes and walk <laughs> away with it because you know it's going to be problems. Excellent. So it's a case where is where the agent is concerned. You do your research today. Uh, the world has been taken over with internet, so you can just put in y uh, your search uh, to get some reviews on the agent, and you will actually hear people giving uh, their remarks. It will be up to you to take or to leave whatever you read, you hear, and you observe. And there are so many agents on the high street. You make a list and then you prioritize that list. And again, because it's a business and you want the best for yourself and your residents or your customers, you would prioritize and whoever provides the best service for you, whoever shows the best customer care, Excellent. I would recommend this is the way you go. And I'm happy today. Excellent. Thank you very <laughs> much. I will come back to you. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Aripai, uh, this, uh, Mr. Phillips, uh, Desmond Phillips is giving a a great uh, uh, support uh, or the real truth answer from his heart. Uh, will you add something on that? Now, first of all, I again wanted to uh, thank you, Mr. Desmond Philip. Uh, although, Shabba, do you know that or not? He got a multiple profession. He's a landlord. <laughs> oh <laughs> okay. <my laughs> He's an anti-social behavior uh, compliances officer. Uh -huh. He is a teacher uh -huh. and he doing some other charities as well. So he's life is very busy but he's still doing it as a landlord as an investor as well so he got so much to do although he's saying that uh, he's, uh, he, he was used to balance it and he's balancing nowadays in a different way but of course there is uh, so many things to go uh, 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 viewers uh, you understand that he was sharing his uh, personal opinion regarding the choosing a right agent of course you have to see that I would like to say uh, th thank you Ashabai to tell me the part of thing to add on a whole over here regarding uh, the references sometimes uh, you know some references it does work that are your relatives friends uh, property managed by other agent <coughs> that's reference does talk of course there is a so many times you can research it that way mr uh, desmond philip uh, said as well as they have to see that about the the reputable agency that uh, they ha they maintain their that sort of high standard as well as they have the governing members as well like a top class member which is the the professionals they doing the client money protection insurance all the time to remember although this law is going to be coming in force sometime next year the every agent have to uh, that sort of thing so that's the thing ashabai there is it's a hard work sometime but sometime there's a the, the he point out a very different way as well there's a, you can search you can talk with them go with them see their yeah. office how they how long they're running the business is the trustworthy is not every time you can Away from there, of course, there is another business as well. The, top, the terms and conditions have to look properly. Sometimes they are very nice, and then, but reality, they don't highlight the small print. There's so many factors mm -hmm. here. Mm. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, thank you both of you. Dasho, kotha bolchi dum dujonashate. So many things is coming out regarding uh, um, being a landlord. What are the responsibilities, and uh, what, how they should choose. Uh, a, an agent or how they should behave uh, with the, with their own client dashok amra kintu apnader sathe sob shomoy bole thaki je apnara you can give us a call anytime and uh, if you if you can uh, talk to or live you can uh, email us yeah um, i will go back to uh, aribai there's um, uh, some uh, news bulletin uh, there's a few of them. Thank you, Ashabai. Uh, there, is, kind of uh, there is so many uh, news bulletin, <laughs> but I'm going to be prioritized. Mr. Desmond Philip, he is uh, spending so much time for Give far away. Break, uh, <laughs> no, really. I want to. I want to. I mean, take out some more info from him. Sure, that sure, obviously, sure. our I'm community uh, can understand that, that more. Uh, uh, viewers, are uh, you uh, watching uh, the 
thing. I just wanted to highlight it. Um, uh, I'm just going back to uh, my uh, our guest today. Yep. Uh, does one just want to say that one? There's a so many mandated thing you have to do regarding when you're going to rent out your property. So this is the government. Uh, of, of course, they're, they're putting the, some council uh, wise. They introduce in the property license. Mm -hmm. Basic license that some borders have that sort of license have to have it, so, uh, like a town homeless part uh, part of town homeless uh, covered, but other other barking Dagenham, this and that, Hackney, uh, other borders in London especially, uh, they have to put the license. If you don't do the license, then obviously you're going to end it up with the fine. Of course. So regarding this, uh, w what you wanted to share to our community, your uh, some knowledge, if you just give them that yes is mandatory you should do something like that if you just th tell them something will be really appreciated if you don't mind uh, what I will strongly suggest and advise is make sure and familiarize yourself with the terms and conditions in terms of what the council expect of you so you can maybe access a departments like the planning departments where in case if uh, you might want to do some work within the property you might want to do some refurbishing to make sure that you stay along the right guidelines from the planning department, they could always sign post you to other departments who could give you further guidance in terms of what you should do and what you should not do. In this 21st century, there is no such thing as I don't know anymore. There is enough information out there. The internet is there. We have our phones, mobile computers, I would say, these days. So there are no excuse. If we don't know, we should find a way to find, you know, I mean, to know and have that understanding. The property agents are there. They are also specialized and up-to-date. But remember, you have that responsibility as a landlord and even as a resident to find out. Because one day, you too might become a landlord. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Mr. That's David. a very nice word he's saying. Yes, <laughs> really course. appreciate the particular point. That's the motivational part, I should say. Dashuk, look at the question. Assalamu alaikum, Dashuk. Call drop away, hello. Sorry about it to keep you waiting, uh, Dashuk. We'll come back to you again. And um, we like to say that uh, this program is always, we repeat on the Saturday, 11 o'clock in the morning. Hopefully, you will watch again. The key to Kiyas and Lani. Assalamu alaikum, Dashuk. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Brother, I'd like, uh, like to know it's, uh, it's commercial property. Yep and what it is because I let it out and because I, I know there is a flat above mm -hmm. the restaurant and they let it out to privately so how do I have to find out? Okay, Can sorry I you didn't get the uh, proper uh, point actually if you don't mind. Sorry, what is the question about uh, flat above the shop? Above the, sh above the restaurant. Uh huh. Okay, yes. so what do you want to know? Uh, I want to know how do I find out because if the tenants uh, let let somebody out, T uh, tenant let somebody out means uh, it's like a sublet to other people. Yes. Okay. Okay. Any questions, spare? No, no. I just want to know how do I find out uh, this? Uh, you know. Okay. Desmond, you understand that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you want to say something, or shall I start myself? Yeah, fine. And I, mean, I can actually um, a, a contribute something quickly for that. Um, with regards to that, it's a case of you have your local authority and you have the housing department. Again, they may not always be able to answer all your questions, especially if it's a private residential home or a private property. But the council governs what goes on within their borough. So I would suggest get in contact with the housing department, make them aware of what your concerns are, and then they can signpost you. Again, if it is that is something that is affecting you directly, then it's also a civil matter where you could even seek your legal counsel in terms of if you cannot afford it, you can maybe check Citizen Advice Bureau. Again, go on Google and find out which one is closest to you. Thank you, Dajman. I just wanted to add something, uh, uh, callers. I just wanted to say something this way that if you rent out this flat to somebody which is by yourself or your agent and he <coughs> sublated some reason obviously that's the thing you in the uh, tenancy or an agreement have to write it down yourself like you can sublet it you cannot sublet uh, it as well like this type of terms have to have there but sometimes if you own the downstairs flash actually I'm not really 
clear about the particular point. Of the, I know it's not that much clear, but I just want to say this way that if you own the downstairs and but upstairs was going on, they're subletting or some sort of thing, then it's falling into a different part. But anyway, uh, you got our email ID. Uh, please email us uh, with the details. We're going to go from there. And just wanted to say that uh, uh, because, uh, uh, so many people are emailing me. I'm trying my best level to email answer you back. Uh, please, in case of not, please re forward the email again. I'm uh, coming back to Ashabe. Thank you very much. Dashakwa, uh, it's uh, time to go for a break. And we'll go for a sh very short break. And we'll come back and uh, we'll talk to them again. Thank you. <laughs> 